Okay, everybody, what we're going to do tonight is I get a lot of questions on how to clean the mirror of your telescope. Um, lots of questions about can I use Windex, can I use other kind of cleaners, and things of that nature. A lot of people just simply give the answer that you don't need to clean the mirror until it's very, very dirty. That may be true. Um, for most people, me, I like for mine to be very clean. I clean mine a lot and matter of fact when I pull this mirror out of here of this um, Orion 8 inch Newtonian telescope um, that we're going to clean tonight you're going to find out it's almost spotless anyway but I'm going to go ahead and do this anyway just so I can show people how I clean the mirrors this doesn't mean that it's the only way to do it and um, I'm sure other people have their ways. I pulled this method out of a magazine um, online. I can't remember if it was Sky and Telescope or another magazine, but this way um, works very well for me. Um, you're going to need a couple Phillips head screwdrivers. I'm going to use a drill. I highly suggest that you don't. I'm going to do it because it's faster, but using a drill obviously increases the risk of you messing up one of your screws on your telescope and I don't want you coming back being mad at me when you mess it up so I always keep the telescope standing with the um, with the uh, mirror side up this way when I take the last screw out the mirror is not trying to fall like, fall down to the ground I can't drop my mirror and um, and break it so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that mirror right now Okay, so now I put my screws somewhere where I can't lose the screws. Once you get the screws out of there, the mirror simply, the mirror, the whole mirror cell simply lifts out. If you, I don't know how well you can see this on here. Um, this telescope's been sitting in the house. My mirror is probably not nearly as dirty as most people would tell you that it needs to be before you clean it. However, it does have a lot of dust. Um, we're living in a house that was flooded a few months ago, so there's a lot of construction going on, so there's a lot of dust in the house and um, stuff like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the mirror from its mirror cell. Okay, so now we're going to remove the, the mirror from its cell. I'm going to be a little bit more careful on this. I'm going to use my screwdriver instead of the drill since I'm dealing so close to my mirror. I don't want to make any mistakes. Okay, normally I would use my kitchen sink for this. I don't have a kitchen right now, so we're going to use the we're going to use the bathroom sink as the best thing I've got right now. So, the first thing that we do is um, I'm just going to blast this um, thing with water from the sink. I'm not going to touch it with anything else. I'm just going to I'm just going to hit it with water and then I'm going to pour some distilled water over it to to rinse the mirror. If um you pour the distilled water over there, you let it dry. After it dries, you look at it, see if the mirror is clean enough to make you happy to your satisfaction. If your, uh, mir your mirror is clean enough after that, then there's no need to go to the next step and touch your mirror. So that's what we're going to do right now is just blast it with some water and rinse it with distilled water. And this is just the plain old distilled water that you could get from any from any grocery store. It's about a dollar a gallon. Just gonna rinse it real good with that. 
after we rinse it with the distilled water. Then we'll take a towel and we'll stand our uh, mirror up on the towel. I don't have a towel sitting there right now. I will in a minute, but we just stand the mirror on its end like this right here. We allow it to drip dry. We do not rub it. We just allow it to drip dry like that. Okay, so I've determined that um, after um, hitting the uh, mirror with the um, water, letting it dry, it's um, not clean enough for my liking. So the next thing we're going to do, put the mirror back in the sink. We plug the um, drain on the sink. Going to allow the um, going to allow just a little bit of warm water to fill up the sink, and put just a um, couple drops of some Dawn dishwashing liquid in it. Not very much at all. Just enough to um, get a little bit of suds going in the sink. Only going to use a tiny amount, and I also, due to being careless a while ago, I got fingerprints on my mirror, which is another reason why we have to go to this step. So once my mirror is covered, I'm just going to take some cotton balls. I'm going to start in the middle of the mirror. I'm going to use several cotton balls. I'm going to start in the center of the mirror. I'm going to work my way to the edge and I'm going to rotate. Every time I work to the edge, I'm going to rotate my cotton ball and I am going to switch the cotton balls every time I've rotated through the whole cotton ball. I'm only working from the I'm working from the center to the edges. My sink seems to be draining, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it. Continuously rotate your cotton balls and change the cotton ball often. That way whatever dust that you're pulling off the mirror is filling up the cotton ball ball and it's not um, coming back out to um, scratch your mirror. You're going to be very gentle with this, only applying very, very light pressure. Work from the center to the outward part of the mirror. couple little spots on the edge that it looks like I missed so I'm just going to hit those spots on the edge real quick now we're going to drain the sink and just like the time before we are going to rinse our mirror with just plain old distilled water from the grocery store make sure that you rinse, rinse it plenty Use the distilled water and there won't be any spots on your mirror. Make sure it gets any of that um, soap off of there. We didn't use very much but the distilled water is going to dry without any spots. And just like last time we're going to stand this mirror up and we're going to allow it to we're going to allow the mirror to drip dry. We never want to rub the mirror dry. If we rub it with a towel or anything else, we risk um, scratching the coatings on our mirror. So we're just going to allow it to drip just like this. Okay guys, so we're about an hour later now. The mirror's dried off and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to place the mirror back in the cell. When we um, put the mirror back in the cell, we tighten back down with these screws and clamps here. There's three of them, two screws in each one. We want to make sure that we only tighten it down just enough to hold the mirror in place. We do not want to put a lot of stress on the mirror. It can mess up the image when we're um, looking through our telescope or imaging through our telescope. So we're just going to make sure that it holds it in place. Nothing more.
All right, so now we've got our um, mirror back inside or back inside our cell. So all we have left now is to mount the um, mirror back in the um, in the um, tube. So um, find the holes on your mirror cell, line them up with the holes on the um, tube, get them in there. And again, I'm going to use my drill because it's faster. I highly recommend that you use a screwdriver so that you don't run the risk of messing messing up anything in your telescope. If you do decide to use your drill, please don't blame me if something goes wrong with it. All right, so we got it all back in there. That one, was, it was a little bit tight. I had a little bit of a hard time getting the holes lined up on that one, but overall, most of the time it goes fairly smoothly. So that's it. That's how I clean my mirrors on my um, Newtonian telescopes. Um, take your time and um, be sure to use clean cotton. Be sure to use distilled water. Make sure to place your telescope in a position to where you can't drop your mirror and um, keep your fingers off of it everything should come out well and you should be able to safely clean your mirror this way